Aipa Pindi sir is a meditation coach with 18 plus years of experience. He is CEO of 51 Pyramids, founder and managing trustee of Pyramid World Foundation, Pyramid Researcher. He is dynamic and highly charged to push the humanity by empowering them with meditation and spiritual science teachings. He wants to introduce spiritual science with pyramid power to the entire humanity and bring balance between their physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual growth with the utmost powerful tool of breath meditation technique. And by spreading the message through the knowledge he acquired by his personal meditation experiences, research work, and an extensive reading. He is a really great third master, third eye master. His experiments with pyramids have a standard farmers cultivating crops using pyramid energies. He also wrote a book on spiritual agriculture about growing plants organically without chemicals by just leveraging the pyramid energy. He is, of course, multi talented. He had also developed interest in music at the age of seven, and currently he plays sitar and many other instruments proficiently. He's also a fantastic orator, and you can watch his videos on various topics in 51 Pyramids website and also in YouTube channel. Ayappa sir and his wife Anita ma'am has shared their profound knowledge and tips on spiritual parenting. During conscious parenting event conducted by PMC USA two years ago, it has really a fruitful profound information uh, to upbring the kids and bringing spiritual knowledge in them. Uh, if you're interested, please do refer them in PMC USA channel. I immensely benefited from your video, sir, particularly your journey of transformation from software engineer to an entrepreneur in the field where you're passionate about is really admirable. We are really fortunate to have you today on the platform. Very warm welcome, sir. Over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the introduction. To all the members of ESS in USA, to all the pyramid masters, to all the great enlightened masters, my greatest pranams, and all the true followers of Patriji. Today, it gives me an immense pleasure to be in this platform. It's such a big event. The moment I hear the words PSSM USA, I remember the words of Patriji. He used to tell me, if USA becomes Dhyan USA, the next day the whole world will transform. He always gives the greatest importance to USA because the whole world always looks into US. And you people have taken a great uh, initiative to spread meditation, uh, vegetarianism, and breath meditation in USA. Such a fantastic group. And my journey with Patriji physically was around 19 years. And my whole spirituality plus 20 plus years. And now, after he is no more in the physical plane, the responsibility of every pyramid master has multiplied into many fold. When we are connected with the breath, we are connected with the soul. This is my recent learning. I always measure my learning weekly. What did I learn in this week? And I share in my wisdom sessions. The one greatest thing with the living master Patriji I've learned is he is a, in Tamil it is called Sakala Kalla Vallavan. It is like all-rounder. So I am always inspired. I always watch him very closely without uttering a word in his presence. A true spiritual scientist is a person who is always in the mode of learning. 
we are very fortunate to be with him to journey with him to learn more we have to understand spirituality from multiple dimensions we have to learn from everybody and spurti ji was explaining about me the introduction i was learning from her how organized well organized slow and steady she was introducing me we can always learn from everybody that is what a spiritual scientist must do every day every person i meet i do the three things one meditate with them share my experiences ask what books they read until my college i was not a great orator we only read for marks grades interviews but my true spiritual journey started from year 2004 when i met my first guru that is my breath one lady asked patri ji few years ago sir you are now here we treat you as a guru what if you are not there tomorrow whom should we see whom should we take guidance from he said to take guidance from your breath you connect with your breath so that is the answer given by the grand master our breath guides us every moment but you have to connect with your breath not only when you meditate before and after anything you do you have to connect with your breath because your breath is connected to your soul i am insisting on the breath meditation more than anything recent days i am very fortunate so you all one greatest and grandest book patri ji has asked me to sponsor i think can you see okay now yeah we can see so breath so and this, this breath and meditation it's a great compilation of more than 100 spiritual masters who speaks only about the breath when this book was compiled patri ji called me and said i waited for this book for many years baba i am happy this book is coming out and he said you are the right person to sponsor i immediately sponsor this book was out thousands of copies we have distributed for free because the breath meditation is the final the greatest scientist of all the times buddha after so much of research focusing on heart focusing on head focusing on throat this that finally he simply said nothing is needed you just have to focus your breath after reading lakhs of books guru patri ji again insisted the same thing focus on your breath if you change the method you are delaying your enlightenment you will not get any answers focus on only breath meditation never alter your method this is the strongest message which is given 2500 years ago and last 25 years never change your methods read from every book all the knowledge but never try any methods it won't help my recent understanding and research on the seven chakras are they are seven doors of our body the door has to be open from inside not from outside when you are with the breath you are always inside and you are safe you have the control on all your chakras your energy systems your seven bodies because the moment you are with the breath you are connected with your soul and without your soul permission nothing can enter you inside but if you focus on your third eye throat something from the outside then it's a wrong direction many people suffer from the past practices but you might have done so many practices in this lifetime or previous lifetime but everything can be corrected when you do group meditations i read lot of torkom saradarian books i am a greatest fan of torkom saradarian so he clearly says when in the group meditation your past practice mistakes can be corrected with hundreds of master every day we do group meditation 
A great salute to all the pyramid masters who only insist on breath meditation, nothing else. I have a great gratitude for all the masters who only speak about breath meditation, not others. When we do group meditation, it is very easy for anybody to evolve. Just before the session started, there was a great group meditation happening here. More than 70 masters, 60 to 70 people. This is more powerful. The fundamentals should never be forgotten. A person can do thousand things in a day. That is what a living example my guru has given to me. I always get inspired. So I continuously keep learning. We must acquire knowledge from every book, every video, every person. Yet be grounded. Don't show any ego. Cut it. Treat, if you can't treat everybody equal, then your growth is stop with that. There's no more further growth for you. I don't know how many more years I will live. But Patriji said, you live for another 100 years and spread the meditation. That is what I'm going to do. And teaching meditation is our job. Whether they do or not, it is not our job. We have to convey not convince. Convincing will never work. The whole world is in need of meditation. The whole world is in need of vegetarianism. If you, if you can't speak about vegetarianism, there is no spirituality. People are shy. They think if you speak about vegetarianism, people will run away. Let them meditate for a long time. Then slowly we will introduce Nothing doing. This is not what Patriji taught me. The first thing I yesterday, when I, a lady came to my office, the first thing I asked is, are you a vegetarian? She said, no. And I gave a book, Ahimsa and Vegetarianism, and said, are you willing to become vegetarian? Then I will teach you meditation. She said, yes. She became vegetarian. When a lady in Singapore asked about a pyramid, I inserted vegetarianism book. I sent her. The same night she read about it, the whole book. And she converted into vegetarian. The whole family got converted. One book will transform a person. To my surprise, she said she has seen all the PMC videos, but she did not convert into vegetarian. But one book has transformed her. We must speak about vegetarianism very boldly. We should not be afraid. If there is no vegetarianism, my dear friends, there is no spirituality whatsoever they may be, whether it's a third eye master or astral traveling or whatever it is. If you don't have karuna, if you don't have friendship with animals, then there is no spirituality. Spirituality is dead there. My first and foremost point, whoever I meet is I speak about vegetarianism. Whether they follow or no, I don't care. I will convey and when people join my inner transformation program, I always ask them, are you a vegetarian? If not, the 21 days, you should never touch vegetarian, non-vegetarian food. They accept it. Just that we need to give time, but we need to convey. If you are not conveying, then whatever meditation you teach, it is all going to become vain. When I meet some masters, they say, they have been meditating for one year, two years, but they don't know about vegetarianism. Nobody has told. This is a shocker for me. Vegetarianism is so, so, so important that Patriji said, even if you don't meditate, it's okay, but at least become a vegetarian. That is the importance of the master stroke. The master has said that. And I live to that. In any platform, anywhere, my first word will be vegetarianism. Second will be breath meditation. Third will be reading books, sharing experiences. These are the fundamentals. The fundamentals should never be forgotten. You have to put the seed in them. 
only then the weeds come out and the plants will come on when you put the right seed they will convert i have been telling about meditation for past 20 years after 18 years all my cousins have started doing now after 18 years they wait they wait they wait there are two reasons why people come into spirituality one is for search of truth or for health whoever meet me i ask why why you are coming into meditation either they have a health problem or they want answers for their questions otherwise nobody comes here when we go and convey about meditation we will know who is searching who is the real seeker and teach them meditation and leave them don't hold anybody here the quote what patriji said is be a master not be a disciple you must learn to take your own decisions you must learn to create your own channel and spread meditation you must become independent not dependent on anybody i am always independent and anybody who comes i teach and i'll ask them to leave go teach the world don't stick around that is what the masters create another masters and this is only possible in pyramid society nowhere else in the world and another greatest thing is we read all books i have personally read 2000 books in my house at least there will be 1000 books there is always books around i dwell in the books books are my life you must keep on reading because when you read a book you transform that one family got transformed by reading one book i was reading a book once i understood a new point i was like wow i literally felt one petal on my sasra had opened i could feel it book opens up your dimensions otherwise you think you know everything it breaks your ego you learn a new point then you will know oh there's still lot to learn when you hear experiences from every person at least every day i am hearing experiences of other spiritual master at least 10 to 15 new people i ask them what is your experience i meet through zoom through physical classes i meet people i ask them that is why i become an enriched soul and i want more coming sunday i asked 100 people to join session only because i want to listen to their experiences my soul is going to be in joy we do book reading group book reading everybody has to read every day 30 minutes three things very very important practicing of meditation reading books and speaking about our experiences we should open up we should give opportunity for others to speak not we should always speak these are some of the principles i have learned from patri ji and it has been a great journey so far another 50 or 100 years i don't know but my message will be simple teach people and ask people encourage people to go and teach others there are many topics in spirituality it's a very wide variety of topics when you want to know about third eye you have to read lobsang rampa books when you want to learn about all the seven bodies you have to read all the theosophical books if you want to read about past lives and regressions you should read barbara books barbara hanklo barbara marsinia there are so many so many masters so many books the secret is if you catch hold of a book if you are totally immersed in the book you get connected to that master a psychic can understand that a third eye master can see that a channel will understand you connect i saw osho when i was reading osho book he said salute to all your masters 
you, you guys are doing great job. When I was reading Lokshangrampa books, he took me inside my own body to do astral traveling to show what all we have inside our body. He took me to Tapolo, Satelo. Yogananda Paramahamsa came. He was standing in front of me when I was reading Autobiography Yogi. When we read their books, they wait who will read my books. Books are the gateway. Books are the gateway to catch hold of them. Never ignore and always have a physical book in hand. No iPad, no digital books. The masters won't come when you read in digital book. Pakado physical book. Then they will come. This is my experience. I always prefer physical books. If you don't have print and do Xerox or something, keep it physical. They channel through you. They want people who read their books. What else they have worked there? They'll be waiting. Out of all the books I read, the best of best is autobiographies. Swami Rama, Living with Himalayan Masters, what a book. Absolutely outstanding. He speaks about only two things. One is Buddhi, another is Siddhi. Whether you want power, whether you want knowledge. If you go behind powers, what all problems you get. When you go behind true spirituality, what you will get. Pilot Baba, what a book, my favorite. And I was very fortunate to meet Pilot Baba in Pyramid Valley. He came for an event. And when we came to Pyramid Valley, he said, I need to go to that direction. He started walking to a place that is called Tapastali in Pyramid Valley. And he said, this is the highest energy spot in Pyramid Valley. Look at that. When you are with the master, there's so much to learn. All the autobiographies are great. Annie Besant, Blavatsky, Yogananda Paramahamsa, Swami Rama. These are my favorite books. My best friends are my books. I am learning music. It is called Santur, not Sitar, sorry. It's a Hindustani instrument. The goal is simple. I want to play and people have to meditate. When I, when I have that goal, things will happen on its own. I want to do so many things. I don't want to do one or two. I am not a guy who do one or two and get satisfied. We asked Patriji why there is always dissatisfaction. He said, if you are totally satisfied, you will leave the earth above. So, we are dissatisfied always and nothing wrong in that. We want to do more. We want to teach more. We want to read more. We want to perform more. We want to speak more. Non-stop. The one thing, the one thing, every person seeks is freedom. Without freedom, what can we do? And PSSM has given a platform, given us free meditation and full freedom to do whatever you want. Nowhere else in the world you get this freedom. I have been to four spiritual societies before coming into PSSM. I know how the world is. If you use this freedom, you will become a grandmaster. If you misuse, you will get kicked out. I am very happy for this uh, Yagna is happening. Those olden days, people used to do Yagna with fire and mantras. These days we are doing in Zoom with the inner fire. And the Yagna Fala, we always get. 
we all must become organizers we all must become masters those people will get ekna phala two days ago one master called ramu he is from atlanta he came to my office look at the connections and he don't know anybody in atlanta i said there is a very big group in atlanta you must go and meet mr srikanth mr sirisha mr sital power you should go and meet and i asked him what is your goal he said i want to build a pyramid i said first go and meet them they all are waiting for that and you have joined we must connect people everybody has some goal somewhere they get connected and we must connect to the right groups and when i am doing session from midnight 10 to 1 indian time people from malaysia people from singapore usa canada they are attending very hot timings i asked how are you managing they said universe will take care in certain house there is no freedom husband is scolding mother in law torture but still they are meditating if you have the will there is a way <coughs> my journey is very fruitful my journey is very grateful i am able to connect to so many masters every day and listen to their experiences and contribute in every way we can and you must become a perfectionist anything you do for the first time the soul enjoys because it's a new experience anything you already did if you are repeating change little add a little innovation into it then there is a new experience otherwise there is only routine and the soul hates it you must start feeding why the soul and what the soul wants then you will enjoy the inner happiness a very great experience i want to share 3 days ago i told a master i want to come to your home i want to have a coffee with you they are very happy he came in the car he took him to his house but they did not give me coffee they only gave me juice i said okay i insisted coffee thrice but they say only we will give juice but when the lady was about to give me juice i said are you meditating she said no then i said i will not drink the juice she was like what sir i said you promise me you will meditate i will drink she said i will try then i said i will also try to drink she said no i will do i took the juice i drank and i showed the glass i drank the juice now you have to meditate and i told her i came here for only for you not for your husband not for your children i came only for you i don't know why my intuition said go i am here and she is afraid that that husband will meditate lot and then he is going to leave the family life she is very much afraid i spoke to her for 20 minutes and said the importance of meditation and then when i said let us all meditate when i was meditating through my third eye i saw a lot of animal spirits around her i asked who are you who are they they are all the animals whom she killed and cooked served and ate that is why the lot of fear in her those spirits are not leaving her i said that whole family is now vegetarians pardon them they said they need to ask me apologize then we will leave i said on behalf of them i ask apologize please leave and within a fraction of a second they all left and next two minutes she suddenly sat down she sat in meditation the husband was shocked and asked what is happening i said let her meditate and then i came home the next day the husband called me sir yesterday from evening 5 o'clock till morning 6 o'clock she is only meditating i said let her meditate after 3 hours 3 days he called me and said 
sir she is not cooking breakfast no lunch nothing all time she is only meditating i asked him you only requested my wife want to become greater than me now you support now it's been 5 days every day she is doing 16 hours of meditation let her do what transformations are happening we must become a channel we must become a channel let things happen through us i said i don't know what is that you call it miracle or door anything but i got my intuition i stick to my intuition i went there what has to happen through me it has happened and he is little worried now but he is supporting i close my eyes and ask what is happening they said three more days it will take for her to come back to the senses because she is in a very deep samadhi meditation let her meditate if you are ready what has to happen through you will happen and i am ready somebody asked master only we should ask sari why you have asked on behalf of them because they are not ready to ask this is this is the same question many people are asking why you asked sorry on behalf of them i don't know it happened i don't use my mind the biggest strength i have is i don't use my mind when the, my whole education people said i don't have great memory power but that is very great bless in my spiritual journey i don't remember anything what who, who said i don't remember faces i read the book and the second time i read the book after completing the book i feel did i read already but that's a great blessing i have always clean thank you very much for listening to my spiritual experiences today hope there is some a message for everybody thank you for being what you are all of you following the truth breath meditation take a spread meditation be a vegetarian become a vegetarian always speak about vegetarianism boldly don't be afraid truth is always bitter but it has to be spoken thank you very much sirisha ji sheetal ji pssm usa whole team today is a great honor you called me today to deliver my speech thank you very much for the opportunity namaste thank you so much sir